Good morning, America. The assassination attempt on Donald Trump. You know, that's a little bit old. The chaotic scene minutes into Donald Trump's campaign rally speech in Pennsylvania. Take a look at what happened. Secret Service racing to shield the former president as shots rang out. Trump rushed to the hospital. One person killed, two others critically injured. Authorities identify the shooter overnight. This morning, what we know about the 20-year-old armed with an AR-15-style rifle after his home was searched. Was he a lone wolf gunman? Witnesses described the terrifying scene of bystanders shot right in front of their eyes. I knew there was no way that he was going to survive that. President Biden's message to the nation denouncing the shooting. There's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick. This morning, our interview with the Senate candidate who was sitting in the front row when the former president was shot. Dave McCormick joins us live. And right now, the heightened threat, the latest on the FBI's involvement in the Secret Service's investigation with the Republican National Convention about to get underway, the growing questions about security. This morning, full team coverage on this special edition of Good Morning America. From ABC News, live in New York, this is Good Morning America. Good morning, America. It is a morning so many warned would come. An assassination attempt on a former president, a candidate for president, in a toxic and dangerous political environment. After the shooting and treatment in a hospital, Donald Trump arrived back in New Jersey late last night. So here's what we know right now as we take you through the events. At approximately 6.15 p.m. last night, shortly into former President Trump's appearance at a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, gunfire erupted. Trump said he was, quote, shot with a bullet that pierced the upper part of his right ear and felt the bullet ripping through. He was taken to a local hospital. President Biden was briefed on the situation and the White House confirmed the president spoke with Trump by phone. This video shows what is believed to be the suspected gunman and overnight the shooter was identified. The Secret Service says the 20 year old was armed with an AR-15 style rifle on the roof of a building under 200 yards from the podium outside the event's security perimeter and was shot and killed by Secret Service agents. Senate candidate Dave McCormick was steps away from Trump at the moment of the shooting. He'll be joining us live just ahead. We have team coverage this morning from Pennsylvania, Washington, New Jersey, and Milwaukee, where the Republican National Convention was set to begin. Rachel Scott was at the rally when the shots rang out. She starts us off from Butler, Pennsylvania. Good morning, Rachel. George, good morning to you. We were, in fact, inside of that rally. The former president had just taken the stage. Thank you for watching. We have a lot more coming up on this week. ABC News will be back this evening with an update in prime time, and we'll see you tomorrow morning on GMA. Former President Trump safe. The shooter and at least one bystander confirmed dead. Tomorrow night, David Muir reporting on World News Tonight and at the Republican National Convention on ABC.